Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how I achieved this wrap blouse. To create this top, you'll only need one and a half meters of fabric, your bodice pattern, and of course you'll need a sewing machine. So keep on watching the video to see how you can create this top. So the first thing that I'm doing is tracing out the bodice. Instead of tracing it on the fold, I'm going to be tracing out both halves so that I can create a wrap top. Then you want to freehand the neckline and leave the dart if you are using a woven fabric so that it has a better fit. And you also want to create a facing for the neckline. Once that's complete, you want to trace out the back bodice, making sure that it lines up with the front, and you also want to create a facing that's two inches and will match up with the front as well. Then you want to create your wrap ties to your desired length so that it can be wrapped around your waist. The next thing I'm doing is just tracing off my sleeve pattern. I want to have um, like a kind of a bishop sleeve. So as you can see, I'm going to do a, the slash and spread method. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys can just kind of watch in the clip what I'm doing. So this clip just shows all the pieces that you have. You should have two sleeves. You should have a front and a back bodice. You should also have a collar. You should have your waist um, ties. And you should have also a interfacing for the collar. So now that I'm at my sewing machine, I'm just sewing up my darts. Um, I would say that if you have a knit fabric, don't worry about using any darts, but if you have a fabric like mine, I would say use darts just to give your top a better fit. Isn't in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this is of my favorite things You could be the part where it all be One of the side seams, you need to leave an opening for the waist ties So that you can push that through to tie around your waist. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Now I'm just ironing down my interfacing to my collar and once I'm back at the machine I'm going to be sewing my collar together using a quarter inch um, seam allowance
just pinning the collar to the, the top and I'm going to stitch that down before I add the interfacing. Basically what you're going to be doing is sandwiching the collar in between the top and the interfacing. I'm going to start working on the sleeves. The sleeves I'm sewing together at a half inch seam allowance and then I'm going to hem it so that I can create a casing and then add an elastic. I've shown this numerous amount of times in my videos so I'm not going to really go through that in depth. <laughs> Isn't in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights
So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.